the energy for your wish, uh, the energy for all the goals that you have is your feelings and emotions. Your strong emotions will give you a push towards making all your dreams, goals and desires come true. Therefore, you should make your dreams, you should put uh, item statements in your list when you are in a good mood, when you feel great, when you feel happy, when you feel joy. It means that you should carry your notebook with you all the time. If you don't want to do this, you can write your wishes on your cell phone. But when you come home, you should transfer your wishes from your phone manually to the paper. Remember about the Harvard research? And I will tell you a little bit more about why is it important to transfer your wishes on paper. Because if you want to increase chances of your wishes to come true, you have to write them on paper. This way you will supercharge, energize your wishes on multiple levels. And those levels you can see on the screen, mobility, focus, vision and imagination, emotions and awareness. So let's talk a little bit more about each of those things. Mobility. When you are writing down your wishes on a paper, you're not just thinking about them, you are involving your body. And this is different just from typing, right? And when you sit down and write, you can type much faster than you are writing. And this is important because when you write down uh, your wishes, your thoughts process slows down. You can focus better on wording and when you see your wish written down on the paper and you look at your wish, it looks differently than you just think about it. When you think about your wishes, you can be easily distracted by another thought, by a phone call, and then you will forget what you were thinking about. But if you wrote at least two or three words on the paper and somebody distracted you, you can get back to the papers like what I was writing about. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I was writing about the new car. So this way you can keep track of all your wishes. Number two, focus. Let me bring the slideshow back. Number two, focus. When you uh, write down your wishes, your goals, you are focusing on them. You are telling your brain not just to think about it, but you are telling your brain, your hand to write your wishes. So you are focusing on your wish more than you just when more than when you're just thinking about it and about the focus uh, for example let's say i am looking for the job for any job for a job and my friend don't so if i and my friend go to the whole food store to the supermarket and there is a sign now hiring i will notice that sign because I'm looking for the job. My brain is focusing. I will notice that sign. I will notice when people are talking about the new position or I will notice about the new promotions at my work if I have a job right now. But if my friend don't, does not look for a job, does not want to change her job, she will ignore those things. Those things will not exist in her reality. She will simply ignore them she will not even notice that sign so this is the uh, the same algorithm works uh with uh, dreams when you are writing your dreams down on the paper you are kind of making your brain to focus on it so the chance of uh, making your dreams come true is higher than just you if you don't write them down number three vision and uh, imagination when you uh, are writing your wishes down on paper, you are following each word by word. You are following each letter with your eyes. So while writing, most people will envision their dreams coming true. So if I am writing, I want to travel to Hawaii, probably I will have some kind of image or some kind of feelings and feelings and emotions are the fuel for the dreams to come true, right? So I will have some image in my head or some feelings inside me about that dream. 
And again, it will focus, it will program my brain into that direction. So the more you focus on your dreams, the more it becomes real for your brain. Therefore, the easier it will be for you to believe that uh, it's possible to achieve the dream. It will be easier for you to believe in yourself and it will be easier to achieve your dream. Emotions number four. So while writing down your wishes, you immerse yourself, you're immersing yourself into an invisible field of feelings and emotions. And as we already spoke about, emotions are the engine and the power for our wishes to come true. Number five, awareness. And this is very, very important. Uh, I'm a psychologist, I'm a life coach, and I teach a lot about self-development and self-discovery. Awareness is number one thing that helps you to achieve anything in your life. Because, because uh, if you want to change anything in your life, if you want to learn the new skills, if you want to change your relationships, you have to be aware of what's happening with you. You have to be aware of your own feelings. You have to be aware of your own actions, of your own words. So awareness is number one tool on your self-development journey. So awareness uh, will help you to refocus your brain from your everyday routine, everyday problems, everyday stress into something that you really, really want in your life. So when you are writing down all your dreams on the paper, uh, you are aware of them. You can refocus from everyday program to something that's very important for you, to something that you really, really want. And without, without being aware of uh, our dreams and desires, we can get stuck in our daily problems. We can forget about joy and happiness. So that's why you have to write down all your wishes on the paper. That's why you can make sure that most of your dreams will come true because you will deeply connect to your inner self. You will connect to your fears because when you're going to write down your dreams, you will, you will think that, oh, it's not possible. Oh, I am afraid of uh, mm, talking to my boss, for example, if you have a dream about... Um, uh, to, about getting, making more money or about getting promotion at work, you might have a fear, authority fear to go, in, in, to go and talk to your boss about that. So you will face your fears, you will face your anxieties and just by writing them down, it will help you to overcome your fears. Okay, so let's summarize again. Let's summarize the second part of today's uh, webinar. So it's very important to keep your wish list next to you. And it can be your phone. And if you write your wishes uh, on your phone, make sure that you copy them manually to the actual notebook. And uh, it's important to make your wish when you feel good, when you feel happy. Uh, because you can charge your wishes, you can charge and refocus and reprogram your brain for success. And uh, some of you might say that they cannot remember when the last time they felt happy. I had a woman who came to, uh, to my private session and she told me that uh, probably she was not feeling happy for the last two years of her life. She was so stress she was so anxious and worries about everything in her life that she forgot how to feel joy she forgot how to be happy and if uh, you can relate to that if you don't feel happy in your life then i have another advice for you the second time when we want to uh, write down our dreams is when we are in a bad mood when we feel angry when we feel tired sad disappointed and why that is and how our negative emotions can help us to overcome our fears can help us to make our dreams come true i will tell you guess where on my online workshop program yourself for success 
So if you don't feel happy, if you feel sad, if uh, you feel uh, that uh, no matter what you do, your dreams don't come true, then maybe you need to learn about negative emotions, how our negative emotions can help or can delay the results of our mm, goals. And on the online workshop, I will tell you how to um, use your negative emotions. And I also will tell you about five behavior, behavior patterns that can delay or prevent your wishes from coming true. And uh, I will tell you how to be aware of those patterns, how to recognize and notice those patterns. And I will tell you five easy solutions what to do with those patterns that basically driving you in a circle and you can't get what you want in life because you are stuck in those daily routines you are stuck in uh, uh, in a bad mood in daily problems in uh, in uh, all those things that's like basically sitting uh, on your shoulders and you don't know what to do about them 